Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back in everyone. We are back today. And this episode of the Motivated Mompreneur podcast is brought to you by Decalash Belden Village. Lash extension and brow lamination services, memberships, products made just for you. Decalash, thank you so much for your support of Confidence Sells 2022. Be sure to grab your ticket today and visit our website, www.themomsonamission.com. With me today, I am joined by special guest, Charlotte Albert. She is a sales coach, strategist, mompreneur, and we are so excited to welcome her in. Charlotte, welcome to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. How are you? Thank you so much, Amy. I'm so excited to be here. I'm doing so good today. Thank you. So Charlotte, tell us more about yourself because you have an incredible journey to share. Sure, I'm happy to. So I started in corporate sales and I was there for actually almost 10 years and traveled all around the US. I was in the professional beauty industry selling professional skincare, luxury skincare. So and doing trainings for spa professionals. And then at some point, I was married for about six years at that time, my husband and I decided we would love to become parents. And it was really, really difficult to conceive for us. Like we tried for a really, really long time. Mm -hmm. And looking back, it was from my understanding now is I was a beautiful woman, but I was inside like a man. I was working all the time. I was hustling. I was living Mm -hmm. on caffeine. I had to travel every other week. So it was really difficult for my body to conceive and it took forever. And at some point, um, about two years in, we finally conceived and my baby was born, Emily, in 2016. And we do need to pay checks. So after three months, I did have to go back to my corporate job. And I was so miserable. I was trying to be a parent for so long. And then I finally had my precious baby girl. And I was sitting at this corporate job. I had to travel. I had to leave her with my mom. And I just felt so terrible about what kind of parent am I and at one point I broke down in the bathroom and I was just crying while I was pumping milk for her and I was like what am I doing like I need to do something so I can be with her because that's what I wanted I wanted to be a parent so I quit my corporate job and decided to bring my expertise and sales and marketing and bring it online and I started actually in social sales selling wellness products online and built it to six figure sales within a year and a half. So I was hustling to Mm -hmm. hit that goal. So pretty much like my corporate personality came back through when I started my online business and I wanted to have that freedom and I wanted to be with my daughter and I kind of was, and I also, I was not because I was working so hard And it wasn't until I hired a coach to really help me understand the feminine side and the masculine side within us that I understood how to balance myself, my body, Mm -hmm. my physical health, how to become a better parent. And also it really changed the relationship I had to my husband. So really increasing the polarity again that we had between each other. So, um, Long story short, but yeah, I now I'm a mom of two and now I have a thriving business and only working about four or five hours a day. That's awesome. And that's something, you know, you touched upon the mom guilt, you know, sitting in the bathroom, you know, just crying. And I think we've all been there. We all hit that wall just because we feel so guilty. It's like when we're working, we feel like we should be with our kids. When we're with our kids, we feel like we should be working. And it's easy to look at all those bright, shiny objects and go, oh, look at her. But like you said, it's a hustle. There's so much work that goes into it. It's not just 
overnight you decided, okay, I'm going to quit my job. And then the next day you had six figures. No, I mean, that took time for you to get there and a lot of work. So I, I love that you touched upon that. Something else that you mentioned too, was the masculine versus the feminine side of sales. So can you expand upon what does that mean? That's a great question. I love talking about that. I'm so passionate about it because I see it now everywhere. So just to clarify for your listeners, so every being has masculine and feminine qualities within us. We all have it. So what is the masculine energy, masculine essence? It doesn't matter what gender you identify with, but the masculine means when you and your masculine energy, then you are always looking for a goal. You're looking for an outcome. You're working towards something. You're checking things off your to-do list. Everything needs to have a purpose. When we are in our feminine, we really focus on the quality of being right here, right now. We're looking for the beauty. We're taking time to smell the roses. And when we are in our feminine, it is about connection more than an outcome. So when we have a conversation with someone, it's really about finding joy and depth in that conversation. That's when we're in our feminine. If we're having a conversation in our masculine, it's to have a certain outcome, a goal in that conversation. The feminine is also about flow and movement and expression and just relaxing and enjoyment, really taking time to slow down. And in order to have a thriving business, we do have to master both sides within the business and also within sales. It's so important because we do see a lot of people who are usually focusing on one or the other. So you have some female entrepreneurs that are so in their masculine and they're just focusing on strategy. That's what I was like when I first started out. I know sales strategy, like I know how to sell, you know? So I would like follow the things, checking things off my to-do list and the harder, like the more hours I put in, the more I work, the more sales I would make. But I was burned out. My husband was really like unhappy. He was like, can you just sit down and relax? Mm -hmm. Like he could not watch me working so hard and not taking time, really quality time for our family. But anyway, so that's say it's like say it's strategies are really like masculine. And then the feminine side of say it's is who are you being when you're following, following those sales strategies? And are those sales strategies really aligned with who you are and your unique energetics? So for example, every business needs to see, okay, where are my next clients com- coming from, right? And say it's we call that lead generation. You can call it building community, building an audience, like whatever you want to call it. We have to find a way to bring people closer to us. So there's so many different ways of doing that. So some people do a podcast. Some people really create quality content on their social media platforms, maybe on one platform, maybe on several platforms. Some people possibly have a Facebook group. There are some people cold message, which is really like 2018 or something like (laughs) way back, but there's still people doing that. Like there's so many different ways of doing that. So you want to find a way that really aligns with who you are, but also who are you when you're doing it? So doing some kind of a sales strategy that you hate, it's not going to work for you. So You want to do something where you feel so alive, so happy, like doing a podcast. Amy, I see you like so happy, so bright. Like this is such a great medium for you to create community, right? If, for example, in the beginning, I would do certain things and I would not really love it. I just did it for the sake of checking things off and they were not as successful. So This is where the feminine comes in. You really want to look at those sales strategies and then find the ones that you love and then take your time and really watch yourself and be the best you can be when you're doing those things because this is what what people can feel. They can feel if you're starting a conversation just to get or just to sell or if you're genuinely caring about that person. So this Mm -hmm. is what the feminine way of say it's us really finding a process that works with your unique personality where you can be your best. 
while generating sales. Yes. And it makes so much sense. I had never thought about it the way you just presented this information. And yes, I, I can even see it in myself. So much of it is just checking those items off. Okay. I know this is what I need to do, but really tuning into ourselves when things feel aligned for me, they feel easier. I don't know about you, but when everything's in alignment, it's easy. It doesn't feel like work because you're serving your audience. You're providing that value and just everything's aligned. Oh my goodness. That is so, so amazing. What tips do you have for us to, so say someone's having trouble tapping into that feminine side. What are just a few easy tips we can do to just try and find more of that? Because I think as entrepreneurs, we do tend to, and the tactics in life are still, you know, taught to us as very masculine. How can we tap into that feminine side, our feminine energy? Beautiful question. And I, I agree. It's so important for us. There's so society really has primed us to own the masculine because making money or being productive is so praised in society and slowing down and really enjoying things is often seen as lazy or unproductive. So we almost afraid of tapping into our feminine. We almost afraid to not be accepted by the people that we love if we tapping into that part of ourselves but when we do learn how to do this a lot of magic unfolds that's the magic money that people talk about appears like you are open to receive literally the feminine is open to receive for so much more than we could ever comprehend with our logical masculine mind. So when we are tapping more into our feminine, we are so magnetic to people, to opportunities, to events, business clients. Like when we really master tapping into that feminine within us, our business experiences exponential growth. Usually our relationship is polarized again, meaning there's more intimacy in, in our relationship. Like there's so much magic that happens when we women learn how to tap back into our feminine. So your question was, how do we tap back into that? Some simple steps. I am telling my clients there's different feminine embodiment practices that we can do, but really looking at every single day, scheduling some time in between where you are taking a break or we're taking moments for pleasure for joy, for just completely being free for just a moment. So what can that look like? Every person has different preferences, but really to be in our feminine could be doing a dance party with our kids. Like find some music that you love and your kids will love it. Like we have dance parties with my two and my five-year-old almost every single day. Just go crazy, jumping on the mattress, like just being so expressed and wild and crazy, you know, just having that dance party where you are not thinking, you're just fully in your body and feeling so alive. That's being in your feminine. It is, could also be just sipping a delicious cup of tea and just looking outside in the rain or the sun and just really tasting and smelling the tea, really utilizing your senses and just feeling that moment, just receiving the flavors, the scents. It could be being outside in your backyard and just barefoot feeling the wet grass underneath your feet or just really receiving the sun on your skin just to be and be really present and enjoy and scheduling those times consciously during the day is creating so much magic also sometimes what i do is for example i have days where i create more content maybe put yourself in a beautiful environment go to that amazing five-star resort that's in your city and just drink a cup of coffee and just feel so luxurious like dress up really feeling so beautiful feeling wealthy like whatever you desire just tap into that and do your work in those beautiful environments just like how can you create more conscious moments of pure pleasure and enjoyment Oh, I love how you said that, those, those conscious moments, because how much of our lives are spent on autopilot, 
as moms, especially because it's like, okay, I've got to do this. I've got to do that. You know, this kid, that kid. Okay. We're going to do this. And you're trying to work. You're making sure they're at daycare or school. And I mean, it's just a constant hustle. So just something as simple as taking that time, scheduling that time, even if it's only three minutes, Mm-hmm. bringing yourself back to present moment. And that's something I've struggled with as a mom, you know, especially when you're starting to build a business, it's constant, you know, hustle, 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 but just bringing it back. I'm so glad. So, so glad you touched upon that. And that's easy to do. It's not like it costs us a whole bunch of money. It's not like, you know, it. it's something you do every day. Just take those minutes with your cup of tea, looking out, embracing, standing out in the grass, grounding ourselves. So vitally important. Yeah. As moms, something we, we often overlook. And so how do you balance life as a mompreneur? You've got a very successful business. How do you manage life with littles two and five? Those are crazy years. I don't miss when my kids were that young. <laughs> so how, what, what do you do to maintain the, that balance in your own life? I am a master scheduler. So I put everything on my Google calendar and I'm really prioritizing certain things in my life, right? So every single day, everything that's important to me is present in every single day. So my body, my mindset. So I get up early at like 5 or 5.15. I work out, I do a little meditation or breath work. I schedule that and I get up. So I eat, I eat well, then I schedule time where, you know, for the kids, getting them ready. They are in school. My son is in school for three and a half hours in the morning. My daughter is for six hours now in school. So during that time is when I'm working. Some days my husband is off work. So then I have more time to work. I have days where I see clients and then there are days where I'm just working on my business where I work on creating my own community, we're creating quality content, where I'm doing podcast interviews. So I'm really, everything is really strategic. Everything is really planned out. So every single day I feel really fulfilled. So then there's time every single day for pleasure with my kids, like fun, um, dance parties. We go into the beach. We live in Florida. We go to the pool and time with my husband like we schedule date nights we have even date nights at home you know like we just take a bath together or just you know just give each other a massage or whatever whatever it might look like like what are certain things that make you feel really good schedule those in every single day right I mean how often do we forget about that and Mm -hmm doing those things with your kids, that's creating memories. You know, I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't want my kids to look back and be like, well, mom was working 24 seven. Like, yeah, she, she did okay at business, but she was always working. No, I want them to have those memories to know that you can have that balance that, okay. You know, my mom's she's an okay lady, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> and to be able to remember that one day. Yeah. So, that's awesome. I just, I love how you know, yes, we're hustling, but we're taking that time to be intentional, to build those memories and to thrive, to thrive as mompreneurs. Well, Charlotte, thank you so much for sharing so much valuable value with our listeners today. If we want to find out more information, how can we find you? Where are you at? Awesome. Thank you. I also wanted to just go back and you said how important it is to be intentional. And this is honestly like the best summary of everything that we said just do everything with intention because often we are so busy doing busy work yes and we're not intentional so intentionality is key and you will have a thriving business just to bring it all home there was such a good point like be like intentionality really is the key so I love meeting all of you I would love to connect my favorite place to hang out is on Instagram. You can find me at Charlotte Albert. And I also have a beautiful Facebook community, the Sales and Feminine Leadership Facebook group. It's free. And I have tons of trainings in there, free resources all around sales, entrepreneurship, female, uh, feminine embodiment. So if anything that I talked about today resonates with you, come join that community. 
it is full of incredible female entrepreneurs for you to network and grow and learn how to sell online with ease. Amazing information. And we will link all of that in the show notes. So be sure to check that out. Charlotte, thank you again. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Amy, for having me.